Hey you, so in this video, a high silver spot price, buy or sell. Now I'm going to be getting over the current spot price of silver, time of releasing this film. We also do have a high gold spot price also, but mainly focusing on silver. I've been getting a few inquiries lately as to, you know, the usual, is it too late? And, you know, what am I currently doing? But for me, it's nice to see some handsome gains um, with the old AG. You know, I believe the time of releasing this in pounds sterling, we're around the £15.20, £30 mark, um, dollars, $19.30, dollars somewhere around that region. So, you know, gold's been seeing some awesome gains lately, especially at all-time high in the UK market. And it's good to see silver really catching up. But, you know, is it anything to, you know, scream home about and really, you know, this is it, this is it. What do I think, basically? For me, it's good to see. We've seen these prices before. I don't think it's, you know, we're taking off to the moon right now. I think it's very nice to see. Give some confidence to people who constantly spot watch. You know, I know a lot of people say they're not in it like trading. It's a means of savings. But they find themselves constantly looking at the current spot price, whether they're going to pick up or not, or whether they believe, or whether just to gauge against their stack and see that it's absolutely in the green at current times. It's something you can't avoid. I'm showing off a lot more of the silver coins that I currently own at the moment. For myself, um, a question would be, what, what am I doing now, you know, in terms of sell or buy right now? A lot of the silver that I did want to sell, I sold, you know, recent peaks, 14 pounds and the likes of... Uh, a lot of the silver I'm left over with is going to be stuff like my, I don't know which one's which, my gov minted stuff. Even some of that went. And just, I would call them more, even the coins you're looking at in this box here, more eBay ready, I'd say. Stronger for the secondary market. Or even just like on the first hand market. Something I think a dealer or definitely another collector wouldn't mind paying a premium for. And stuff if I haven't sold a portion of, I don't mind holding on to for the long term. With current spot prices soon catching up. I think the old days was a fantastic time to be purchasing, especially with a lot of these collector coins, because we're closely catching up to the time where current spot prices down there, what we paid for these, I can't remember what I paid for these, £23, you know, so at spot price at down there, £15 something, and understand that you're paying a premium, it's a win-win really, as opposed to buying coins now, larger premiums and, you know, dealers tucking into them, but not going to really bark on about that but currently i've sold all I'm, I, I'm going to sell for now you know i think the spot price is nice but i think it's a blimp it's wouldn't say it's going to drop i wouldn't say it's going to you know shoot go any higher i just think it's it's moving in the right course where we're going to i think coming towards the end of the year i believe things financially are going to get a lot worse market wise you know regardless of what stimulus packages are put out there I think we're coming for a recession slash depression. So I don't think the action started yet. I don't think it's going to be that crazy, you know, hallelujah moment some are calling for, but who knows, you know, who's to call it. But I think it's a turn in the right direction. You see what we've got in there? So I've got some of the lions in there. So yeah, these are the kind of coins that I've left over with. Um, do I think now's a good time to be selling some of these? Well, as mentioned, I've sold some of my monster um, Queen's Bees boxes in the past so the ones that I do have left I'll be going longer with because I think they add value to my stack and I think there's going to be better opportunities to really cash in on them at a later date as mentioned <sighs> am I buying currently silver no and, you know as you can see I have more than enough in terms of diversity and variety would I be buying if I didn't own enough as, as I always say and mention most definitely yes it's never too late you know I, I, I think there's going to come a point where a lot of people are going to be wishing they would have locked in it's always the case you know of course we're going to meet people that are saying you know, I wish I would have bought more. Now it's too high. Damn deal, didn't have any. Silver Eagles were going for dot, dot, dot. You know, Silver Britannias were selling on eBay for dot, dot, dot. And I think it's a sign, you know, will people get stung? Will Silver tank? Anything's a possibility. But, you know, if, you, if you're looking to purchase and you want to put your money into the right area, uh, you can't go wrong doing that. Pick your metal, you know, each his own. Pick your metal and move forward with confidence. But for me, no more buying Silver for... The foreseeable future i think because i have enough 
I'm in a comfortable position, as I always say, whereas I'm going to hold out. You know, I have a lot of desirable collector coins I purchased at good prices, seeing them now increase. I think it's times like this where you can look at some of your collector coins if they're liquid. It's no point holding them and looking at them and just saying, you know, I can sell it for this, this, that, that. They need to be liquid, you know. So I still have some pieces out there. Um, Buy-in, as mentioned, nothing on the radar for now. I have a lot of variety when it comes to collector coins a lot more than even my standard foundation stack wise so nothing for me to be purchasing foundation wise there's still issues in terms of availability i've heard but you know most dealers seem to be you know stacking on and um deliveries ramped up so i don't think people are suffering in that respect but you know will these prices hold is another big thing and looking at where we currently are uh, we've touched the 15s slash 19s before, I believe. Uh, I think moving forward, it will be good. It will be a good indicator if they do. You know, not talking any market analysts here, but just looking at the doom and gloom going on around us. I think you know, there's no point in deluding ourselves, thinking we're, we're going to be getting better and things are going to be getting better. So I personally would like to see them hold. I won't. I don't want to see them go back down because. I think it's also not forgetting the manipulation, but I think it won't be a good indication. But for somebody purchasing, it will. See, I don't look at the current spike and think, you know, this is it. We're going to the moon from here. I think it's just a blimp in the road as and giving some type of indication as to where the metals are going. If they're going up, then we're looking at around at the environment and the climate and what's going on. And there's a lot going on. It's a good indication that I think we may go higher. How high is always going to be the ultimate question. If we see new highs for silver, so I would like personally to sell silver break the 17 pound mark before it starts peaking my interest in terms of okay i think we're onto something here can we touch the 20 pound etc etc mark cashing in and cashing out is not going to be an option for me it's just going to be one of those things that i'm holding on to i know some dealers are claiming to have some short supply of silver but i've been doing the litmus test a few calls and it's business as usual in terms of them wanting to pull your pants down so uh, you know not giving the best deal and then you have other dealers um putting situations out there that they'll lock in current spot price but you need to get to them at this specific time and date and you're handling shipping and if you don't get it to them it's just a spot price gamble basically not saying it's hard because current prices could hold now and you can lock in and you're good as gold i think it's a perfect time to sell for sellers if you wanted to cash in because it's not that time and when i say that time there's going to be a that time where a lot of people go rushing for the exit or the you know cash in door and dealers may be overwhelmed who knows when that's going to be it may be that you know magic ratio time these are times i personally like to capitalize on if i was in that position currently because i think there's not too many there's a lot of people more speculating and looking at ooh and an r and thinking wow and you can just swoop in you know liquidate a little depending on where you want to convert put it into another asset you know everyone has their own means at hand and you know really capitalize on the current price there's people that won't sell forever and will buy and buy and buy forever and there's people that see it for what it is you know maybe taking out of one and putting it into another and i think these it's times like this that i most definitely like to capitalize on and i don't think dealers are overrun and over flooded and get a little scared because you know if anybody knows it's going to be the dealers i guarantee you that and it's a good indication when a lot of people are liquidating you know, you have a lot of people that also, not to forget the crowd, shout out to you guys, that got stung, that are still waiting for silver to hit certain prices before they cash out. So, you know, I don't know, but I'd love to know what you're currently doing in terms of cashing in or cashing out. But for me, I'm going to hold strong. As you can see here, I'm going to be sticking onto a lot of my eBay ready coins. Everything you can see, I've liquidated one or another in some way or type of form. So these are the coins I'm constantly showing and showing. I was asked that not too long ago as to whether these coins were just sitting on the shelves. These were purchased in multiples and multiples. Am I currently selling some of these coins? I've got a very hectic schedule at the moment. So I'm not work related or family related. It's just bogged down, you know, a lot of these videos are being recorded bulk in bulk, which I've never had to do before. But, you know, getting on eBay and focusing on all shipping out and shipping in, 
it's mainly it's very cumbersome and tiresome for me you know I, i'd mainly do stuff like bulk and stuff like this and even in contact with a lot of the guys i've done trades and business with in the past a lot of the ebay sellers and we've done a lot of business just doing selling back and forth um as mentioned just not currently at the moment but there will come a time where i think everything i'm showing will work for me or my benefit on the secondary market so for now i'm just holding on and just like everybody else playing the market and seeing what's going on but as mentioned if i was a seller if i was in you know giving my advice as to whether it's a good time to cash in some metals i would say most definitely but you know let me know what you're doing so i'm going to wrap this video up so high silver spot price buy or sell right now what are you doing told you what i'm doing so once again if you haven't done so already please do a like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the rebound